Alright, so what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be doing something a little different. Today we're going to be comparing the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 versus the Nike Roshi Run. So basically between the two shoes there's been a lot of talk saying that Adidas copied um, Nike with the Roshi Run. Um, they say that the Adidas Yeezy Boost is supposed to resemble the um, Roshi Run. In my opinion it doesn't, but basically in this video I'm just going to be comparing the two and I want you guys to share your opinions with me, but um, let's get into it. So we're going to try and make this video as fast as possible because it's just a small comparison. But to start off right off the bat, as you can see, it's a, obviously um, it's a big difference between the two. As you can see on the Adidas, there is boost technology here and here, and it's a line pattern. As for the Roche Run, it's traction pads throughout the whole entire shoe. And of course, you have your Nike branding right here. But it's the same thing throughout the whole entire shoe. As for Adidas, you have boost technology, the lines adidas um branding and then you have some type of sort of traction pattern right here as you can see it looks like a kind of like a foot but you have more boost technology right here it's like styrofoam and more up here but that's pretty much it we're gonna get to the next section get into the midsole as you guys can see the midsole does look similar um i guess this is where people can say that they do kind of look alike the shape right here all this looks the same as that except the fact that it does have lining and by the way, this is a Flyknit Roche. It's it doesn't really matter about the color. That's just the pattern. Um, but as you guys can see, that's all it is. Let's get into the next section. All right, guys, this is gonna be a little longer part of this um, video, but I'm gonna try to bust this out as fast as I can because we're pretty much gonna be reviewing the whole entire upper of the shoe. So I may took a a little longer. Okay, to start off, um, the Roche is made out of I think three different parts. It has three different sections. Uh, of the shoe at first you have the toe box area right here as you can see it's clearly cut off by this um middle piece where the nike swoosh is it's cut off right there i don't know if you guys can see that i'll bring out another shoe um but here i see here here's a cleaner cut right here there it is that's the front part it's a toe box then you have the area where there is a swoosh right here then you have your um your hero cap, I believe that's what it's called. But um, it's not, it's not really there on the Flyknit ID, but on another shoe I'll compare it. But you can see it right there. It's a different section. So there's three different parts of the Roshi Run Flyknit ID, and um, as for the the Yeezy, it's made of one material. It's like one section throughout the whole entire shoe. Besides this little stitching part. Um, but basically, it's like a sock. So, other than that, let's get into uh, more parts of this. Um, for the laces, they are they are like rope laces, but these are way thicker. And for the tongue, the tongue is separated from this um, this middle part of the rocher, as you guys can see. Look at that. Okay, and as for the Yeezy, it's all one solid material piece, as you guys can see. It's all one piece. Okay, and right here, we do have Nike branding, and this is nothing except the stitching that goes all the way down. Okay, getting into the inner liner of the shoe, there is no padding at all compared to the Rocher. The Rocher has padding throughout the ankles, the inner lining of the shoe. As you guys can see, compared to that, it's really thin. Okay. Um, the inside of the shoe, this is a different insole compared to the Yeezy one. I guess I'll pull it out. It's really fast. Hold on. I'm gonna pause the video. Guys, so I got the insoles out, but pretty much um there is way more padding on the Nike Roche Run um insole compared to the Yeezys. This is, it's actually a really nice insole, I gotta say. But, um, not as much padding as the Russian one. Let's go down. As you guys can see, it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, a little bit thicker. Well, actually, I don't know. I can't really say. Actually, I don't know. That's a hard one. I'll leave that to you guys to, do, to determine. Can't really say anything about that, but. Okay, getting near the end. Here's the um, pretty much the last part of the video between the the hello hello loops. This is more of a rectangular shape. 
I mean, I really don't have to say much. You guys can see it, so that's like a big difference. This is a loop. That's like a heel box. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. We actually have just one more section to go, and that's it. This is the last session. Um, pretty much what, how I was saying before, the shoe is divided within three sections. You have this first toe box area. This where it contains the Nike swoosh, leading all the way around to the other side. And then you have your heel cap right there. And as I said, this is not all connected. It's three sections of a shoe. Well, you could say, yeah, it's three sections of a shoe compared to the easy, which is one. But um, what this part was supposed to be about is weight wise, Okay, I don't have a scale or anything, but I can tell you it's uh, obviously it's a big difference between the shoe. The Yeezy is way heavier than the Rocher, and I pulled this shoe out too because it's a size 12. They're both size 12, and you know this is the big difference. Way, way lighter. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, I just want to show you a quick comparison between the two. I honestly think that. Um, this doesn't really resemble the Rocher at all in my opinion because as I showed you guys That's the big difference between each other, but um, tell me what you guys think um, But that's pretty much it for today. I want you guys to hit that thumbs up Comment and subscribe for more videos coming out soon Until then I'll see you guys next time.